Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the Toy Wolf W01 Dirty Man. Yeah, <laughs> Dirty Man. So yeah, I am so in love with this figure. It really just... I wasn't too sure at first when I bought it, but now that I have it in hand, it's just so amazing. So yeah, this is, I believe, their first release from Toy Wolf, a brand new company making their own stuff. But uh, the figure has lots of similarities to the Steel Pest series that came out a while ago. But you know, I'll, I'll come back to this later. So here's the box. We've got a really nice art here. We've got the uh, Dirty Man uh, drawing on on the front, which looks like a really nice samurai uh, uh, Tengu demon warrior. Anyway. <laughs> On the side, we've got the transformation mode. Yes, it's the robot that transforms into a toilet. <laughs> on the back, we've got, again, some nice art with the poop on the, the back with the toilet with a sword stuck in it. It's really amazing. On the side, we've got the uh, robot mode, sort of. Underneath, we've got uh, legal stuff and stuff that I cannot read. So, yeah, we've got a QR code if you want to go on there. Um, Weeboo website, and that's been watching. So let's stop wasting time and open up the box. And here we have the box. All right, nothing in here. Let's throw this aside. So first off, we've got uh, some accessories. So let's open the bag. All right, and this is just so amazing. That that's just the piece of the cake. Yeah, the. the piece of the cake the icing on the cake is just amazing but first off we've got a uh, changeable nose and yeah nose uh, this has a much better uh, Tengu demon look so yeah well, I'll come back to it in uh, once we get in the robot mode but it's really damn cool and I really love the big nose and I think I'm gonna be using it a lot or leaving it on anyway here's the icing on the cake that I talked about is just so good we have a ninja scroll <laughs> that we can open up unfold and the scroll is the instructions and it's printed on it's not just a cheap paper glued on a scroll no no it's printed on the scroll it's just so amazing it's just <laughs> seriously the the idea of this is just so good i am in love with this it's just lots of nice thought that went into the figure you know but like i said when I, the figure is not that cheap it's uh 70 65 70 dollars us comes about a hundred dollars Canadian and I wasn't too sure but just looking at the scroll you know that a lot of love went into the uh, making of the uh, the figure so let's roll the scroll set this aside all right and you just clip this in and voila all right instruction amazing I really am in love with this so, figure itself now. Let's open this up and throw this away. So we've got the figure right here. I'm gonna put it aside and stay up. All right, accessories. We've got flags. He can wear flags on his back and we've got a nice uh, poo flag icon. <laughs> We've got the pipe that is a uh, gray, metallic gray, gunmetal gray with some silver on it. Nice paint detail. Same thing for the other side. And yeah, the flags does combine together for the uh, floor of the toilet. But we're gonna, just going to leave this like this. And you can peg the flag in the back. There's two holes right here. So one flag in. To flag and it's really tight but it holds really good so all right figure is here we've got swords now I don't know if it's only my figure but for some reason mine came with three swords 
there's only space for two in the box, but mine has three swords for some reason. Cool. <laughs> I've got one extra, guys. But uh, as you can see, these two are identical, and this one is different. Like, there's uh, the hole here. It's on the other side, so I've got two left, I guess, and one right sword. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, with three swords, we've got the metallic gun for the blade and just plastic gray for uh, the handle, which looks really cool. Three times. And right here, we have a couple of more, nothing else in here. Right here, we have the famous poof. So, this is just a little caca. <laughs> So it doesn't do much, it's just a little piece of poo that you can hide inside of the toilet bowl or you can hold it, eat it, whatever. <laughs> we have the plunger, a really cool plunger, looks really nice, but uh, yeah, the red here, nothing here, it's just this, I uh, believe we can plug the uh, poo in the plunger. Not really. I've seen some screenshots, but yeah, mine doesn't want to peg in. And finally, for accessory, we have the toilet paper roll. And it's just this paper roll. Now, it can combine with the plunger. And it, it goes in from on one side, and it just stays there. But on the other side, it doesn't plug in. So be mindful of that. So you just plug this in and now you have this handle right here and he, call, he can hold it just like it was a gun. So we got pistol, plunger, gun thingy. You can give him a sword like so. And yeah, really cool figure. <laughs> As for the figure itself, uh, really nice looking figure. There's lots of detail. Let's just remove the weapons. But now, the face sculpt is just so damn good. Let's bring some light, and you can see the eyes are red. Inside of the mask, we got some gold, uh, gray metal right here, red for the eyes, white for the teeth, silver for the nose, and the uh, uh, under the eyes, we got some metallic bronze or gold on the. Uh, uh, the mouth is just so many details. We've got the Pooh logo right here. Got some red lines on the thigh. On the arm, we've got some red. We've got some bands right here with some metallic plates. It's just so damn cool. We have the flushing button on top. So it's just a really freaking nice looking figure, you know? I was really impressed. Like I said, it's really hefty. It's not, uh, it doesn't seem to have any die cast in it, but it feels really solid. And like I said, the price point was sort of uh, off-putting, but once you have the figure in hand, it just feels right, you know? Y you get your money's worth, totally. So yeah, as for the head uh, articulation, the head is on the ball joint swivel, so it goes up and down, left and right. You do have this thing that can move up and down. The mouth does open and close. Uh, the arms are on a ball joint right here. We do have a swivel at the upper arm. We do have a inch at the elbow that goes like really nice like this. We have a um, ball jointed fist and nothing at the uh, at the uh, fingers. Uh, we don't have any waist articulation, but we do have some legs uh, ball joints at the uh, legs, so they go back forth. Uh, we do have a knee bend right here. We do have another articulation right here. So we have articulation at the upper knee and at the bottom knee. It's kind of weird, but yeah, it works. As for the feet, we also have ball joints. So yeah, they rotate, flip, spin, go up and down. So a nice articulation. And yeah, uh, as for the back, we can have the um, uh, flags up you can store his weapon with a plunger so yeah there's a lot of uh thing on going on we can remove the flag right here now for the uh <coughs> tengu nose so tengu is like a um 
how do you say, a trickster demon from, uh, from Japan, <laughs> really. So it's more like a sort of trickster god demon thingy. And like this, it looks really nice, but with the nose, it just looks so damn cool. cool. So uh, you just have to pull on his face right here. So we just remove his face. So you, you end up with this, with the nose and the cheeks and the teeth. So you have to remove also the teeth. So pull them out like so, nothing too hard. And place them back on this, on the Tengu mask. And you can plug it back in. So now you have the trickster uh, Tengu <laughs> demon god thingy placed on him. And to me it just looks so damn cool, just so damn nice. It looks like a <laughs> trickster demon, you know, it, it really looks like a Tengu and I really love it. And during transformation, you can leave the nose. It hinders a little bit uh, the um, storage for the uh, swords, but not that much. So, yeah, I really dig the uh, Tengu nose, so I'm going to leave it in. So, uh, just for a quick comparison, uh, we have the Bumblebee Deluxe Dropkick. So, as you can see, it's sort of like a big deluxe. Kind of, you know, scales with the Studio Series uh, Deluxe Dropkick. But, to me, I don't know why, but to me, it really looks, it looks so much like the Steel Pest series, you know? This is the Steel Pest, um, I don't remember, it, it turns me into a tank, what's its name? But it's Steel Pest. And you can see there's a lot of familiarity, familiarities, like the mouth opening, the, the, the big head, the gremlin looking demon creature thing. <laughs> it looks so damn much alike, so this is what I love about this figure. I, I think we finally have a companion for the Steel Pest. So, yeah. And just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna plug in my uh, dildo bot. <laughs> my masturbating uh, cop robot, so yeah, it's just... I know, the silliness of the figures goes together real good, so, yeah. <laughs> and if you're interested in my um, Dildo Cup uh, robot, you can see previous re reviews I made of him, so go check out my uh, other videos. Anyway, uh, transformation right now. Transformation is really simple, and it's really cool. So, close the arms uh, like this, and on the... Um, uh, elbow there's a peg that you can peg right here underneath the arm so plug it in like this same thing on the other side close the arm plug it in like this unplug the arms like this open up the panel here and open up this like this close these tabs in because these pegs in on the side which secures the figure so like this come to the back pull on the backpack it's gonna be really tight but pull on it there's like tab right here that uh, just locks everything in so just pull these out like this bring the legs uh, unpeg the legs from the tummy right here and bring the legs all the way back like this and bring the feet there's gonna be like sort of a roundish peg that will peg under uh, the feet the feet right here so bring these like this plug in the feet like this same thing on the other one plug it in and like so now uh, straight these up so that they are uh, end up like this and bring uh, the whole cap over like this and close it back in and now there's a uh, sort of grooves on each side where these panels are gonna kind of connect in so plug it in plug it in like this and now you have two pegs right here that will peg on these panels right here so bring it down like this and make sure uh, these are still pegged in like this all right come for the head spin it around like this close this over the nose bring it like this slide the uh, the, the beer belly <laughs> slide it up like this and 
yeah, like this. Uh, bring the whole thing down. Uh, make sure these uh, can be turned on the side like this. Bring this all the way up like this. Now uh, you want to close these panel. Just make uh, them go under these tabs like this. On the other side, same thing, like this. And all you have to do is uh, close these tabs. There's uh, the, uh, the like this. Uh, these tabs will peg inside of the head here. So plug it in, plug it in. Make sure everything tabs in perfectly. And there you have the toilet all done. So make sure the seat is back. Make sure everything is closed. And now we have the toilet all done. <laughs> now, uh, you can plug in the flags together. Like so. And now this will stick under the head. And funny thing is, this is the, uh, the top of the head. As you can see, this is the head. Close this like this. You have a sort of blade, spinning blade on here. I don't know what it's supposed to mean, but yeah, whatever. And you just peg this on top. So now you have the floor of the toilet on. And if you want, you can take the toilet paper roll and just plug it in to the top here, like this. And for storage, you can take one of the sword, or well, two of the swords. Let's take uh, different ones, at least. Yeah, two swords. And you can peg them underneath the seat. If you bring this down, you can peg the swords. Oops. Sort of like this. And bring the other one. Like so. And then you can leave this down if you want for stability. Just plug it back in. So now you have the toilet right here. You can put the plunger anywhere you want. <laughs> and you're left with the little poo that you can move this. You can open up the toilet seat. And you can see it's just empty inside. So you can put the poop in and close the lid. And you can leave the poo in as you transform it into robot mode. So it's really freaking cool. So now we have the toilet seat. <laughs> really, it doesn't do anything. It's just a toilet ball. But <laughs> it's just for the silly silliness of it. It's just so damn amazing. Now, obviously, we have some kibble on the back, which is, you know, excusable because of what it is. But, you know, it's just so damn cool. <laughs> anyway, I love it. You can remove the sword. And you can see the nose still sticks in. So regardless of the, uh, uh, the face you have, you can leave it there. The only difference is that... Uh, so yeah, the only difference is when you have the big nose. So you have the big nose right here. So regar regardless of the face you have, you can uh, leave it in. So you, the only difference is uh, with the nose, when you close the helmet uh, crest on top, it goes like this. But if you don't have the nose, the crest can go way further in. So there's not much difference. And also the um, swords will peg in much better if you want to. But if you want to also, you can just peg the swords like this and, you know, make it a total badass toilet seat. You know? <laughs> Nothing stopping you. <laughs> Plug in the floor. So yeah, that's pretty much it. it. It doesn't do anything. It's just a toilet. If you want, you can have like your character <laughs> sitting on the bowl. <laughs> hey, it works, you know. <laughs> it's crazy. It's silly, but yeah, it's there. It's it's working. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's been watch it. It's just a Toy Wolf um, 30 man, and I'm so in love with it. The transformation is fun. The plastic quality is amazing. It's so tight. Everything is secure. I, I just wish they, um, the color of the poo would be brown, you know, not black. Because right now it's like metallic black. I guess this is, you know, mercury. <laughs> I don't know. Metallic poo that transformer shits. But yeah, I would have loved just brown poo, normal brown poo. 
So, yeah, it's just a really nice, odd, odd figure, you know? A toilet. This is just it, the toilet. So, yeah, it does hold without the uh, floor. So, if you don't like the floor, yeah, regardless, you can not use it if you don't want to. But, yeah, it's a, such a nice figure. The transformation is so fun. So, yeah, like I said, the price point is a little bit steep for this guy. It's uh, about 65 to 80 dollars depending on the store that I've seen and it's totally worth it and you get what you pay for. It's such an, such an amazing price quality, the quality of the figure, the, the, the plastic quality, even the, the scroll man, just the scroll. I know it's useless and it's just part of the, uh, how do you say, it's just part of the, <laughs> the gimmick, you know. It's really nice to have like such a cool idea on it, like, tagged with it. So, yeah, I totally recommend this figure. Go and pick it up. It's an amazing figure, even though it doesn't fit much into the Transformer 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 world. <laughs> well, it can transform. It can fit. If you remember in one of the movies, uh, I think it's the first, second. First or second movie, all the appliances come to life. So you have the toaster right here, and the toaster also has, looks like a little gremlin, kind of goofy, weird creature. So you have these that goes together real nice. <laughs> so like I said, these are really freaking cool. So they would totally go together. I'll, I'll totally put them together on my shelf. Oh, this is really tight. Like this. I just want to transform it real quick back into robot mode yoink yoink unplug the feet bring this down legs peg the legs inside of the beer belly flip the head put this in open the connector close these in Close this, close this, big. Oh, yeah, like I said, these figures just look so damn good together. <laughs> they look like nice little gremlin creatures. So, yeah, I'm gonna put them all together on my shelf, so. Yeah, like I said, nothing much else to say. It's just such an amazing figure. It's fun. The plastic quality is great. The transformation is great. The accessories are hilarious. The, the scroll is just so damn cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, go and pick it up. It's really an amazing figure. You won't be disappointed, even though the, the price is cheap a little bit. Don't look at the price. This is a really nice, high-quality figure. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you next time.